everybody, it's Trip with Saving and Such here on YouTube. And in this video, I'm going to show you an awesome trick, and that is to treat your clothes with permethrin to keep the mosquitoes off of you. It works really great, and it's pretty simple to do. So, here we go. A few things to know about permethrin. Uh, it's supposed to be non-toxic to your body and stuff. I've done some research because the way this stuff works is basically when you treat your clothes and a mosquito lands on your clothes, it supposedly just falls off dead. So, sounds like pretty good stuff to me, right? But it must be pretty toxic. But for my research, it doesn't harm you. So, whatever. Good to go. I'm going to put on my clothes. A lot of like hikers and campers and a bunch of people have been doing it for a long time and whatever. Shouldn't be bad for you. Whatever you treat your clothes with permethrin, it lasts, they say, about six weeks or about six washes. And there's a few things that will break it down, like sunlight will kind of break it down and make it degrade quickly, and also agitations. Washing the clothes in the washing machine might not be the best option. Uh, if you want the treatment to last longer, it's better to hand wash uh, your items. Also, there's two different methods of applying it to your clothes. You can either soak your clothes in the solution, or you can spray your clothes down with the solution. Myself, I like to soak my stuff because I make sure I don't miss any spots, and I can like soak bigger things in it, like my hammock like we'll talk about in just a minute. There's also two different ways you can buy the permethrin. You can buy it in a 10% solution or in a already diluted 0.5 solution. I like to buy the 10%, it's cheaper, and it's either you can mix your own batch to you know however much you want, depending on how much gear you're gonna be soaking. But as always, follow the manufacturer's instructions. I have to say that so that I don't get sued. <laughs> Grace world we live in, right? I got this permethrin at my local tractor supply. You can also get it on Amazon in the Salem Such Amazon store at salemandsuch.com. Check it out if you haven't already. Whenever you're mixing and working with the stuff, be sure you do it in a well ventilated area. I like to use the 10% solution, and you mix this stuff about 20 to 1. So, for instance, if you're going to mix a gallon of it up, you're going to put about 6.4 ounces in, about 121 or so ounces of water. And just be sure it's good and mixed up. I've got about 4 ounces left in my container, and hats are bad. So I've got just about three quarters of a gallon or so. And I'm just gonna pour it all, three quarters of a gallon or so of water. So I'm gonna pour all this into my bucket, my mixing bucket. And add the water very carefully. Making sure not to get this stuff on me. It makes like a milky looking stuff. Now I'm going to just start soaking my clothes one item at a time. I'm going to try and just get them good and soaked. And I'm wearing gloves. Be sure to wear gloves because this stuff, I'm pretty sure it is toxic, but only when it's wet the first time, hopefully. I don't know. Do your own research. <laughs> oh boy. Then I'm just going to squeeze it all out as much as I can. Squeeze it. Pretty good. Okay. Then I'm just going to toss it in a bucket. I don't actually soak all my clothes. I just soak the ones that I know I'm going to be wearing at night when the mosquitoes are out. So I've just got a couple long sleeve, loose fitting button up shirts, and a couple of pairs of pants that I'm going to wear, and my hammock. I like to soak the hammock because you know, whenever you're laying in the hammock, the mosquitoes can bite through the bottom of it. So if you soak it in permethrin, they won't be biting through the bottom. Because I've had them bite through the bottom and it, it's no fun. It's bad. So if you're not using an underquilt and it's warm out, you need a permethrin soaked hammock. Because they will get you. So basically, I'm just going to soak all this stuff in here. Then I'm going to let it sit in a bucket for about an hour or so just to let, I don't know, let the stuff kind of work into the, my clothes and just be sure it's in there good before I hang it up to dry in my shop or anywhere shaded. You don't want to hang it up to dry in the sun because the sun is what will break it down and make it less effective and not last as long. So I'm just going to put my awesome gear hanger up in my shop and just let all the stuff dry for the afternoon. It'll be ready for my coming up trip down in Florida Monday. 
Monday. That's like, I don't know, the 5th of whatever month it is, June 2016. So, I flip the clothes, soak in the bucket for about an hour. Now, I'm just hung them up, throw my gear hanger across my shop, and just drape all the clothes, my hammock, and my bug net over the top. I'm just gonna let it dry overnight, whatever, with my shop clothes so no sunlight gets it. Granted, it'll be overnight. So there shouldn't be much sunlight there anyway. But as you can see, it's dripping a little bit down the ground. I'm not really concerned, don't know if I should be. I may try to put some sawdust on it or something to get a little bit of it out. But anyways, it's basically done. As soon as it dries, they're ready to go. You can put them on, wear them, whatever, in your mosquito infested areas, and you should be good. I'm gonna put these to the test this coming week, or next week, today's Friday, this coming Monday, I'm gonna be going to a natural spring in Florida. Uh, Blue Springs in Mariana at Merritt's Mill Pond and should be a lot of mosquitoes so good place to put this up to the test. So I hope you enjoyed it. Do this to your clothes. I'm pretty sure, actually I'm really positive because it helped me the one time I did it before with mosquitoes. So do this to your clothes. Thanks for watching. Check out the rest of my videos. Go check out the Gear Talk playlist or just check out some of my adventures and the new Q&A that I just filmed one of just a minute ago. I may have posted or not anyways. I'm just rambling. Thank y'all for watching. Check out salingandsuch.com and get yourself a bumper sticker or a shirt. But check out the Amazon store. Don't forget for your permethrin. Uh, get you some of that. Very handy. All the other, a lot of other cool gear that I've got there in the Sailing Such store. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. And I hope this goes well for y'all. Alright, thanks a lot. God bless. Thank you for your comments and everything you guys do. I really appreciate it. Love how all you guys interact.